How to set up a physical server. Step-by-step -step guide. Setting up a physical server might seem challenging at first, but with the right steps and preparation, anyone with basic IT knowledge can accomplish it. A physical server is a powerful computer used to host services, data, and applications for users on network. Whether you're setting up a file server, web server, or a small business server, this guide will walk you through the essentials. Step 1. Choose the right hardware. Begin by selecting server hardware based on your needs. Processing power, memory, RAM, storage, and network capability. Popular server types include tower servers, like desktops, rack servers for data centers, and blade servers compact and scalable. Consider redundancy features like hot swappable drives and dual power supplies. Step 2. Prepare your environment. Install the server in a clean, cool, and ventilated area. If using a rack server, ensure your server rack is secure and has proper cable management and airflow. Connect your monitor, keyboard, and mouse for the initial setup. Step 3. Connect the power and network. Plug the server into a reliable power source, preferably with a UPS uninterruptible power supply. Connect it to your network using an Ethernet cable for stable internet and LAN access. Set up redundant network links if needed for high availability. Step 4. Enter BIOS slash UEFI settings. Power on the server and enter the BIOS slash UEFI settings, usually by pressing DEL, F2, or F10. Set the boot order. Enable virtualization if required. And configure RAID settings if your server has multiple drives. Save and exit. Step 5. Install the operating system. Insert your OS installation media, USB or DVD. Choose an appropriate OS, such as Windows Server, Ubuntu Server, or CentOS. Follow the prompt to partition drives, create users, and complete the installation. Configure hostname, language, and time zone. Step 6. Configure network settings. Assign a static IP address for reliable access. Configure DNS and gateway settings. Test connectivity by pinging external websites or internal servers. Step 7. Update and secure the server. After installation, update the operating system and install the latest security patches. Set up firewall rules. Disable and use ports and services and configure SSH or remote desktop for remote access. Consider installing antivirus or endpoint protection software. Step 8. Install server roles and applications. Depending on your use case, install roles like file sharing, web hosting, DHCP, or DNS. Use tools like Windows Server Manager or Linux Package Managers, apt slash yum, to install additional services and software. Step 9. Create user accounts and permissions. Set up user accounts and define access levels. Use Active Directory or local user management to enforce policies and permissions. Step 10. Test and monitor the server. Test server functions to ensure everything is working. Set up monitoring tools for performance, temperature, disk usage, and alerts to stay informed of issues.